yes, bucks will jump up on their hind feet and get up here and scent mark it, but ideally this thing would be about right here. So we're gonna hang a piece of our hemp scent rope. We call it hemp scent rope, it's really hemp rope. We add our all season scent to it. But we're gonna hang a piece of hemp rope right here to get it into that eye level of the deer, to get it where we want them. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna weed whack all this out and I'm gonna create a little bit of a mock scrape on the bottom of it and right, get right down to dirt using the weed whacker. But it's gonna be a very simple way for us to, to, to use, to, to I think enhance what they want to do in here, but they just it's just not the perfect setup for scraping. I love oak trees that hang over field edges. We all see the deer work the edges of the trails. It's a natural scrape line that can be established, but these branches are just a little too high. I'm careful to put these out too close to field edges because the hemp rope will really swing in the wind. So and I don't, this one I can't, I, I, I just, when we looked at this, I went, man, it's right underneath the stand actually. And there's a long corridor trail that we mow. It's a nice way for us to get a deer to stop. They have scraped underneath this oak historically, but you can see these, these oak branches are a little tall. Um, I can walk underneath them. So they're just a little tall. Right here's where I'm gonna hang it. I'm gonna show you, there are lots of different ways to do this. Um, some people don't like their ropes fraying. I don't mind them fraying, um, at least a little. I've had some that fray the entire way and the deer don't seem to mind. Um, I think it cuts the wind back a little bit if it's kept as a rope. So there are a couple ways that you can do this. You could just take a piece of a wire if you wanted, or you can just run a zip tie at whatever length you want it to stop fraying. So right there is where it's gonna stop that from fraying. So we'll, use, we'll do it that way right now. With the hemp ro scent rope system, you get 10 feet. This is probably closer to eight feet. That's about all I need. I mean, I don't need it much lower than that, about there probably. So about here, <clears throat> I don't have a knife with me, but a knife would work. But we're just gonna cut it with this machete. Enhance my scrape there a little bit. Take this, just tie it in a knot. Now you could zip tie this too if you wanted. Probably use a little less rope by doing that. That won't go anywhere. And I, I like this height. I think it should be about eye level. A big buck is gonna, nose is gonna be about here. It's about eye level. These are such simple ways of making this better. <clears throat> and I can start it right here and dribble it down and get some surface area covered that way. This is like vines in the woods. I, I see, we see so many of these vines in certain woods. Not all of our woods has them though. But the spots that do have vines, they get, we get really nice scrapes underneath them. But they're always set up perfectly. And it's like, God, nature set it up perfectly for those deer. And I think that those, that's the reason those deer use them. Because they're like, they look perfect. Well, they're not always there. And, and so by us being able to have the ability to kind of replicate that, if I were walking down the, this field edge and I saw a vine hanging from this oak branch and I saw it all nice and cleared out underneath it and I saw a scrape under it, I'd go, man, I gotta hang a camera there. So what we're doing is we're just setting it up to say, let's hang a camera there. So I like the look of that. We're gonna have a camera right there. We're gonna shoot it onto here. It's a piece of the puzzle. It's not a fix all. It's not, this is, this will solve all your problems, but it's a real valuable tool that'll help you start to get more information and hopefully be able to put pieces of the puzzle together.